Hey, what's up guys? My name is Cody and in this video, I'm going to be going to Under Armour to invest in some shoes that I'm going to purchase for cheap in the store and sell for profit online. So come with me and let's go source. All right, so really quick, our goal is to fill these shelves with shoes and then up there too. And I'll move these crates back over to the top of those crates to open up some space. But um, this Project Rock 2 Women's Ended up getting four pairs for $95. No, this is the wrong receipt, I'm sorry. So we'll go over this one first. So Curry Fives, we got two pairs for $95. So just under 48 bucks each for the Curry Fives. And then these Project Rock 2 women's really cool shoe. Um, the women's shoes are a little bit more rare too because they just started making them. But four pairs for $153.87. So that's quite phenomenal. I'm gonna to try to get about 120, 140 bucks for these four pairs. And then I'll probably sell this um, pair of Curry Fives Triple Whites for around 110. I'll show you what those look like. So just a pair of white Curry Fives. And retail on those is 130. So to get them for 48 and be able to sell them for 110, we still give somebody a good deal. And then these retail at 140, so somebody will get a good deal even if we sell them at 120 or 140 because they're just so hard to find. And then this right here is a pair of Nike shoes that one of my followers on Instagram messaged me about, so I'm shipping those out to him. And then back here is the garage gym. It's pretty cool because I started all of this um, as a side hustle when I was in college, and then I started doing it out of my dining room pretty heavily at my um, first apartment in Round Rock. And then now we have this beautiful house and we have a full room of inventory. We have a garage gym. Um, it's just really cool to think back on where I came from and where Autumn and I came from together and how we've built this thing up to where it's at today. Okay, so we're on the road. It's a two and a half hour drive to Under Armour. Real quick, I just wanna recap my resale journey to this point. It's been kind of crazy. There have been lots of adjustments, but I'm extremely excited for 2020 and quarter four. I think I'm really gonna crush it this year. And it starts with a good sourcing trip today to Under Armour. Um, but <clears throat> I flipped things growing up here and there whenever I sell an item so ridiculous that it had to be resold. I resold some baseball equipment um, when I was in high school and had some, some good moments doing that. But really, I went to college after high school and I didn't resell at all. I was donating plasma a little bit. Um, that was really my side hustle. And then I worked on campus too. Um, but I rediscovered resale when I was 21. My wife, Autumn, and I, this, uh, this is actually crazy. We're coming home from a Big Brother audition. So one of my goals was to get on reality TV. This was before I got on MTV. And uh, anyways, it, it, the snow was so bad, we couldn't even get to the audition. So we turned around, or we, we got a hotel for the night, then we turned around, went home, and um, <clears throat> we found this Nike clearance store. And Nike clearance stores are awesome. They're a little bit different than Nike factory stores, or really a lot different. But then I was like, holy cow, everything in here is so cheap, I have to resell it. It was one of those things where it's like an obvious resale, a $100 jacket for $15, like, you can sell that for 40 or 50 bucks pretty easily and give someone a good deal. So I invested uh, about 150 bucks into all items that if they didn't sell, I would have been happy wearing. So that's a tip if you're starting out and you don't trust it 100% because it is a little, little weird investing like 200 bucks on stuff that you're just hoping will sell. So I got stuff that I would wear if it didn't sell. It all freaking sold. I was like, holy crap, this is amazing. Started doing it as a side hustle in college just to live a little bit more comfortably. Be able to go to, you know, Six Flags in the movies. I went to UTSA in San Antonio, uh, if anybody's wondering or doesn't know. Um, but then it kind of hit me. I made, a, I made a video and I flipped a pair of Kobe's about five years ago or so, or maybe like four years ago, maybe a little bit more recently. And then when I uploaded it, I saw the similar videos and I discovered some adults that did resell full time. So Rally Roots, Hustler Hacks, and Reezy Resells. So I started watching those videos and I was like, wow, I could do this full time. Like, like who cares what other people think if I'm making a lot of money doing something that I find extremely fun. So I started doing it more seriously. Autumn, my wife, was teaching full time. So she's making about 31, 3200 bucks a month as a teacher. 
And then I was just running the resale ship. Now the thing was, and I don't even know how this happened because when I look back on it, we were making probably about 5,000 bucks a month with resale and with her job, but we weren't growing as fast as I would have liked, or we were growing pretty, pretty fast, but like I wanted to grow so much faster. So I dropped out of school. I got a full-time job in the army as a recruiter and I invested about 70% of my paychecks, which I made about 44, 4,500 bucks a month after taxes. And I invested about 70% of that in inventory. And that's when our inventory really took off to the point where like if you have 10,000 bucks in inventory, you might make like 400 bucks profit a month. But if you have 100,000, you can make 4,000 profit a month. Those are just numbers that I'm making up, just an example, but more inventory, more revenue, more profit, obviously. So that's why we're sourcing today. Hope I'm gonna put those seats down and hopefully fill this Jeep up with inventory. Um, but flash forward to this summer, I am selling door to door. I'm actually just off for the weekend because I had to do some National Guard stuff. They told me, hey, you haven't been quarantining, don't come anywhere near us, just check in. So I, I have some extra time now and I'm spending it investing in Under Armour shoes. So hopefully it goes well today. I know this video might be a little bit longer, but I wanted to document that recap to this point. I'll see you guys when we get to Under Armour. All right, we are here. Under Armour's behind me. I am gonna go to the restroom real quick. It's always bittersweet out here um, at this outlet because there used to be a Reebok over there um, where the green windows are. That was a Nike clearance store. And uh, this is really where resale began for me. Like this is the outlet that I stopped to go to the restroom at. At these very restrooms I'm walking to right now. And uh, I just went to Nike and Under Armour just for fun and I realized how cheap everything was. So these aren't uh, factory outlet stores, but they're clearance warehouses. I think, yeah, Under Armour calls it a clearance warehouse. Nike calls it a Nike clearance store, but I've made some really, really um, profitable trips out to this outlet mall, and I think it's an only, only a matter of time before Under Armour shuts down and follows Reebok and Nike and all the other stores out here. You can see this pretty much looks like an abandoned outlet mall, but it is uh, phenomenal for right now until however long Under Armour keeps their store in business. So hopefully we'll capitalize today. I'll see you guys uh, once I get into the store. I did it. I filled the Jeep. We're gonna go find some shade and I'm gonna go record a TikTok or something. But I just dropped about 2,600 bucks at Under Armour. But I got so many shoes, man, so many shoes. Um, I'm gonna call Autumn, get excited. I'm already excited, I'm pumped, but I wanna talk to her about it. And then head on home and I'll give you guys the breakdown once we get home because there's just so much stuff. A lot of Curry 7s, a couple Curry 6s, and then Project Rock shoes. And then I also bought a baseball glove, which is a first for me, um, but this will be a pretty profitable item too. I don't think I'm gonna keep it because I don't really, don't really want an Under Armour baseball glove. Not sure what model it is, but kind of cool red, white, and blue. So yeah, I'm gonna record TikToks, maybe get a picture for Instagram, and then head home, and I'll see you guys back at the house. Sorry I couldn't record more in Under Armour. Um, basically everything was 50% off plus an additional 20. So we we're paying 40% of an already marked down price. On the shoes, it was only 40% plus 20. So we we're paying 48% uh, of what the tag price was and the tag price was severely marked down in some cases. Let's see if I can show you here. Well, bad example, but some of the Curry 7s were $50 minus discount. So I got some Curry 7s for like in the, in the low to mid 20s, which is just insane because they all are pretty much selling for $100 plus. So, sorry I couldn't record more. It was pretty intense in there and I wanted to just kind of get through it and help the employees and all that. Uh, but it feels good, it feels good to be back. 
and thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys at the house and we'll go through the full breakdown. Let's go. All right, we made it home. I am about to unload the Jeep and then we're gonna sort out some inventory over here. So we have the five pairs of shoes that I went over at the beginning of the video. And then I got 65 more pairs of shoes, 64, 65, I forgot which one. We're just gonna stack them over here, get them organized. And I uh, won't actually list them until I finish uh, the door-to-door -door stuff, but we'll have them in the war chest uh, for quarter four and for this winter when everybody's buying shoes online. So uh, we're just building up the inventory. This money was sitting in savings, so it wasn't really doing anything for us anyways. But it's gonna be exciting listing this inventory and uh, having it contribute to our revenue this November and December. So we've got a lot of Curry 7s. Got this colorway, I don't even have them memorized, so I couldn't tell you what they're called. Some Curry 6s here. Um, some Youth Curry 6s, which are really cool. Some Oakland Curry 6 lows. Actually, they don't even have highs in Curry 6s. And these Project Rock shoes are pretty cool too. The only one that I see online is listed for 200 bucks, so pretty rare there. And then, stick you guys up in here, hopefully you can see that. Some more Project Rock, um, and then just basically just a, a ton of Curry 7s. To recap everything, I sourced 65 pairs of shoes and one baseball glove, and then three sets of underwear, but that doesn't count, those aren't for resale. Got a really good deal on those, by the way. Um, probably could have resold them if I was working with less money. I invested $2,600. If I sell each shoe for an average price of $100, that's $6,600 revenue. So I think on average, I'll probably get 100 for them because there'll be some where I get 150, maybe even 180 for a couple of these shoes. And then there'll be others that um, sit for a while, unfortunately. I'm not sure which ones those will be. I have a better idea. Um, but some of them I paid $30 for, some of them I paid $60 for. So to get an average of 100, that's kind of the goal. And then even if I average 80 or 90, something like that, there's still a ton of profit here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, really just documenting. I know it wasn't super educational. I, did, I didn't even really look up the shoes because I'm so familiar with these shoes. I've been doing this a while. Um, but of course, product research is key. Looking at um, eBay sold listings and um, not StockX. StockX sold is good too and GOAT. I use eBay and Goat to see, um, to do my product research when I need to, but these were some shoes that I wanted to load up on for quarter four. So um, this November and December, I expect to sell the large majority of them. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Subscribe if you're into the resale stuff. There's gonna be more resale content coming soon. And then everything else I can think of, I'm just a young hustler trying to build my wealth, master my money. Um, <laughs> But that's the end of the video, guys. I don't really know how to close it out. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.